Kretas found himself in the depths of Hades, the underworld, a place of eternal darkness and terror. The three judges of Hades were the most ancient of all gods. Kratos had to face each one alone. This particular trial required more courage than he felt at times. If Hades were the next god to be killed, then Kratos was the one who slew him, as he had slain many others. Hephaestus, the Greek god of smithery, now tortured by Zeus, the king of the gods himself. His body was charred beyond recognition, a sight too terrible to bear. However, Hephaestus could not endure the pain, and he succumbed to it. As Kratos finds a shrine dedicated to Hades, he recognized a familiar voice coming from within. Hades, god of darkness, lord of the dead, and soul collector, was stronger than Kratos and overpowered him. If he wishes to complete his revenge against Zeus, Kratos must kill Hades. With the death of Hades, the souls of the lost are freed. No longer will Hades watch the living suffer, but will become nothingness. The last sacrifice must bring about the final victory of the underworld, for Hades is dead and no longer holds control over the spirits of those in the underworld. 